Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Pretty Pin and I do a video about nursing, life in the UK, traveling and lifestyle. If it's your first time seeing my face, welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys for coming back. In today's video, I'll be talking about things you shouldn't do or say during your nursing interview. I've seen lots of people asking me about nursing interview questions and I decided to dedicate these to you guys. Yes. If this kind of video you really want to watch or this kind of video you've been waiting for, sit back and let's get right into today's video. When preparing for nursing interviews, there are some necessary things you do not do or say during your interview. I know many of you are preparing to start up, you know, your interview for next year, which is September 2024, some of you January 2024. You need to watch this video. You need to know all those things. Like it's really important so you don't make mistakes during your interview. The first thing is during your interview, the interview sometimes can be on teams can be physically so one thing you should be aware of when you go on an interview physically do not sit if you are asked do not sit if you are not told to sit down so when you walk in and you see your interviewer you need to be polite you need to greet them but let them offer you a seat let them tell you hi pretty pin Thank you for coming for this interview. Can you just have your seat and make yourself comfortable? But if they don't say that, do not sit down. Just follow their instruction because they're watching your body language. They're watching things you do. You know, they're, they're, at that point you enter for your interview, they are watching you. But if you're doing your interview via team, make sure all your interview equipment is set up starting from your laptop file and all that needs to be set up like you don't need to have internet error or internet you know having issues with your internet especially those of us or those people who are applying from the abroad you need to be very careful because some of these things you know when your internet keep fluctuating on and off on and off they don't get to understand you know what you're saying so you need to be prepared start your interview like log into the team at least 10 minutes before time in case there's technical errors in case you're finding it difficult to you know go into the interview so because you don't even know how the interview is going to be sometimes you see that your interviewers are already there 15 minutes before the time on teams waiting for you so try as much as possible to be there or to log into your team at least five to ten minutes before time next thing you should never do when doing your nursing interview is you know being anxious it's okay that you've never seen these people before it's okay that you know you've you've never come in contact with any of these interviewers but you need to relax you need to be comfortable because that's what they want to see they want to see that you're comfortable they want to see that you're relaxed they don't want to see the anxiousness in you it's okay to be anxious we are women like it's practically okay but try as much as possible to put a smile on your face because they want to see that you know you're approachable they want to see that you know you have that um that spark in you. you you don't want to come for an interview and you're like or you're like or you're serious you need to you know you need to bring out that inner child and being friendly a little bit i'm not saying you should just go there and start shouting how far now how far now what's up who day that's not what i'm saying but i'm just saying you should be polite you should be friendly you should know how to you know how to talk in a pleasant way how to just you know say some things that you know you know don't 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 feel that you know Hmm, this person knows what he or she is doing. You know, this person is polite. This person is witty. This person is, you know, this person is friendly. Do you understand what I mean? Like, in a formal way, if you get what I'm trying to say, it's going to be important. Do not walk into your interview putting on so much straight face, putting on, you know, putting on that face like, you know, I'm yet to, you know, to just do this. It's the interview. I don't want to laugh. I don't want to smile. I don't want to. 
No, especially if you're coming to apply in the UK, you need to relax. Let me tell you, the lecturers in the UK, your examiner, your interviewers here in the UK, they are friendly. I'm very sure if you've had the opportunity to do so much interview, you'll see how friendly these people are. They'll keep smiling from the beginning to the end of the interview. Even if you're answering rubbish, they are all smiling. So you need to learn how to just chill. Life is not a do or die affair. You get it, you get it. You don't get it, you don't get it. So just relax. Relax, relax. Another thing you should not do during your nursing school interview is, you know, when they ask you, why do you want to study nursing? Don't tell them, my mother was a nurse, my uncle was a nurse, we are from a family of nursing, we love nursing, we love this, my great grandmother, nurse, 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 nurse. So why do you want to become a nurse? Because, you know, is it like a generational thing? No, that means you've not figured out why you want to study nursing. You need to be very specific. You don't say, oh, my grandmother, she, she was, she did nursing during 19 year time, you know. My grandfather, he was, you, you need to, let it be about you. Let it not be about historical things like, you know, it's been in a family thing. You know, when some people be like, why do you want to study law? They'll be like, oh, my daddy is a lawyer, my mommy is a lawyer, my brother was a lawyer, my great grandfather was a lawyer. You know, it's been established, it's a family thing. No, don't come with that. Don't come with that impression, that scenario. Cut it off. Because here in the UK, they want to see what you have. Like, it's okay to like chip in when you're trying to explain your reason that. One thing that kept motivating you is seeing how, you know, your mom, who, who is a nurse or who was a matron in her career and, you know, the way she takes care of people, the compassion, the, you know, you can keep those things in, but don't just move straight to say, oh, you know, family, nurse. No, 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 don't do that. Don't brag and say your family, you know, is a nurse, nurse, nurse name. Like, you, if it's not nurse, hey. Do you understand me? You need to learn how to package yourself, like prepare yourself, sell yourself. Let it be about you. Let it be about your experience. Let it be about what you've done. Let it be about something that entices you. You, I don't know why you understand what I'm saying. So there you can like chip in what your parents have done or when, whether your relatives that have done nothing in the past and has influenced you. Influenced you, I mean not saying, because I did not say you must do nothing. You know, it's okay for African parents to tell you that, but that's not what you should say during your interview. You should be able to sell out yourself, not what your parents. Because if you say your parents asked you to do nothing, that means you're not the right candidate for that course. They'll ask you, okay, what do you really want to study if you're given a chance? And you're like, oh, you know what? I want to be, I want to study music. You've lost that spot because here yeah, they want you to do something that you love, something that. You know, when they see you, it's all about you, not about the fact that someone influenced you to do it. I don't know whether it makes sense, but make sure you sell yourself, not the person who influenced you to do it. Another thing you should not do during your nursing interview or during your nursing school interview is do not tell the uni you're applying to how many numbers of schools you've applied. Like, don't try it because you are trying to sell yourself to them you're trying to tell them that guys i am the best candidate for this admission i am that ambassador you need for your school i am that person that when i qualify i become you know the school alumni i am going to be a good nurse you need to sell out yourself don't say um i've applied to other schools you know looking forward to see whichever mm -mm. nothing consign you nothing even consign the consign you at any other school like, I don't know when I'm being aggressive with what I'm saying, but I'm just like trying to say, don't say the number of schools you've applied to, don't say the schools you make them know that they are the ones you, you are banking on. Even if you're banking on other schools, it's nobody's business. Let it between let it be between you and yourself or you and God. But let sell yourself to the school, let them know that you know everything about them. Tell them about the school. Tell them the reason why you chose the school. Tell them why, if it's not that school, it's not that school. Do you understand? Like, let them feel that part that I've done so much research about you. You are the best uni for this course. Like, give them reason. Trust me, give them reason. Don't, you know, don't come and say, you know, don't come and tell them, 
I have applied to schools and you know looking forward mm -hmm. no push it zip it before you start don't bring it up during your interview if you don't have anything to say don't even say anything <laughs> whether it makes sense don't even say anything if you don't have anything to say don't say anything again do you get me the next thing you should never do during your interview is whenever you know they ask you or at the end of the interview they tell you you're not successful do not cry do not start don't, don't start feeling bad or start crying or start saying you know it's a do or die affair no don't what you should do is get a feedback ask them where where are you supposed to improve on you know because when you learn you do so much interview so you learn from your past interview to prepare you for the future one so that during your future interview you're going to like you're going to make it like the sky is going to be your limit so don't cry don't start shedding tears don't start saying god why me why me why me no 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 don't do that pick up yourself ask for a feedback appreciate their efforts tell them thank you for giving me the opportunity to you know to be able to grace this interview thank you for giving me the opportunity because trust me many people never had that opportunity to come in for that interview many people from application the trashed like it was a no-no so you had the opportunity to experience that interview i can tell you it's it hurts like you can't you get angry it's i mean you i, I won't even lie you'll be very angry i've been in that show and i understand how it feels but do not don't start crying you know don't start saying hey chimo please help me i beg i beg don't beg rather ask for a feedback because your feedback will prepare you for the next run and you don't even know whether the next run will be better than the one you just finished running so tell yourself that no matter the disappointment no matter you know no matter the fact that you're not getting what you want you're preparing yourself for the future and that's the most important thing it's okay for you to fail it's okay for you to fall but what matters is how do you pick yourself up do you get rejected for an interview and you just feel like the world is over and you start crying and you think you know god is not going to fall down and sort it out you need to push yourself so you're not like oh, nothing i can do i'll try my best i you take control god god loves when you push that effort ask for that feedback know where you've made mistake no way you know there's some things you did not say there's things you're supposed to say you know study more and then go for that next one trust me you you're going to get it you're going to get it Another thing you should not do during your interview is do not brag, you know. It's okay to say what you've done, but you know, there's, there's a thin line between setting out your achievement and bragging, you know. So sometimes it might not sound as bragging, but you don't even know the way you're saying it, how your interviewer might perceive it. So no matter what you're saying, learn how to you know mind the kind of language you use how you say the tone you know just check those things your speech how you deliver it because sometimes you might say it and it might not come out the way you feel or the way you think it, it came out so you need to be very very mindful of things like that do you get me so when you put all this together when you put all this together when you've you know you've prepared yourself like this trust me you are going to smash your nursing interview questions you're going to smash your nursing school interview you need to know all this to get ready for your nursing school interview and trust me if you follow this tip you know there's no straight or you know one straight record or one straight route to having a successful interview but these are the tips i feel like most students you know lack most students you know they don't have it in them before the interview and talking based on experience i decided to do this video so i will help people who are trying to come in in january and september preparing and having so much interview anxiety asking me so many questions i know it's been a long time since i posted any content on nursing but trust me i am back and I am back because I am tired of my emails, my Instagram filled up. So I said, I'm going to do this. I can't keep telling. If I tell Ukechi, I'll tell Bola, I'll tell Nana, I'll tell, you know, Zombie, I'll tell different people. It's stressful. So I decided to make this video 
so that when you watch it you know that these are the things you need to do prepare your mindset these people are not going to kill you these people are not going to bite you they're not going to chop you they are just there to listen to what you have to say so feel free relax you know I will use myself as an example I remember this during my first interview I am always very serious like you know I'm just like I am ready for this interview I just want to smash it but you know I'm seeing these people smiling and always and I'm like mom I need to just do this do this you know you, growing up they tell you when you when you when you're doing the interview you need to be serious you need to be serious you don't need to be smiling but trust me it's different this is a cultural difference you know they don't make it so harsh like you know back home where we are coming from they are interviewing you it has to be interviewed as strictly business it's not like you're you smiling you're smiling for who but here yeah, no they want you to be comfortable and that's how you have to reciprocate so that them too they'll feel that you know the way they're making you comfortable you're also making them comfortable too do you understand so all this will help you calm those anxiousness those anxiety you know those those you know that's the fact that you're so worried when you're in when you're getting ready for your nursing interview please 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 those in abroad make sure your data your wi-fi anything that you're using to connect make sure it's ready it's not disconnecting it's not make sure it's ready because they really want to they you don't want you know internet hero internet poor connection no they don't want it another thing again is just learn how to communicate if you think you do not understand that question communicate ask them to repeat don't be scared and then you answer rubbish and then nobody wants to say no that's not what we ask you no answer and ask questions and trust me guys if you follow this tip tip and act and of things to do during your nursing interview question and things not to do trust me you're gonna come out with flying color thank you guys for watching today's video and i'll see you guys in my next video i remain your humble girl pretty pin aka baby girl for life bye